This is a big day at Newswatch 16. We are here to say goodbye to Ryan Lucky, who's been here now. Joe, I thought it was farewell. Years. We're hanging out still. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Until next time is yeah. what we're doing. Yes. All right. I don't want to hose the timing of the show, so I have a few things I just want okay. to get to, guys, and not right. get yelled at. You know, I want to share a few words with all of you this morning. And my friends asked me this week, Lucky, do you think you're going to maybe cry and have a meltdown on your last day? And I said, probably, but that's okay because I've always considered you, our viewers, my family, and I have no problem being emotional in front of people I care about. The relationship we have developed over the past 17 years is something I truly cherish. I also loved when you would hit me up on social media or email telling me that you could hear the buttons squealing on my tiny schmedium shirt or to say, Lecky, dial back the coffee or fix your hair. It was all in good fun, but again, it's what family members do. You know, we have been through a lot in almost two decades, a lot of laughs and some serious times as well. Thank you for helping my Lucky Life segment thrive here at the news station. You know, I moved here in 2005 and several years later, I really found myself. Your support after I came out is something I will never forget. I hope that my journey has inspired someone else in the LGBTQ community that you can truly be who you are live out proud and still have a successful career. I also fell in love in this area with my partner, Matt, and that's also why I am not leaving this area. But it is time for me to move on professionally to explore new adventures. And I'm sure many of you are wondering exactly what I'll be doing next. And the truth is, even I don't have that exact answer just yet. You know, there's a lot of things I am considering and a lot of things I wanna try. And I also won't mind sleeping beyond 2 a.m. after 21 years in morning television. I want you to know this is my choice to leave my WNEP family. My colleagues, the management here, and our leaders at our parent company, Tegna, have been nothing but supportive to me. To them, to you, I am so grateful for everything. And this isn't goodbye, more of I'll see you around. And if you do see me around, I still want all of the hugs, all of the high fives, all of the fist bumps, the team here, so many of you have changed my life. Thank you. Let's and you're take probably a look. thinking, who's awake right now? Check it out. Ryan's broadcasting journey began in his hometown of Johnstown, Pennsylvania at WJAC TV when he was just 18. That's where he got to work alongside another person we all know, John Meyer. Ryan has always credited John for teaching him so much early on and for letting him know about the job opening here at WNEP. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, guys. The Kingston. When Ryan first arrived, he began covering news on the morning show and weekends. Ryan was one of the youngest reporters ever to work at Newswatch 16, starting at age 21. So we affectionately gave him the nickname Baby. Hey, good morning. We are swinging. Eventually, Ryan's presence and passion for our area really took off, especially when he launched the Lucky Live segment, spotlighting special projects, community happenings, and plenty of good news that makes our area great. But as Ryan grew up before our eyes over the past two decades, he really grew into his skin. He led us into his personal life through social media, sharing his family with us. His partner, Matt, of eight years, along with Golden Doodle, Metcon, the special projects and stories he brought us made a lasting impression. He won an Emmy Award and several others from the Pennsylvania Association of Broadcasters for his in-depth reporting of big stories. He's also been a champion of countless charities helping to put many nonprofits on the map. But there was one that became his own cause, WNEP-TV's Ryan's Run. During the campaign's 12 plus years, Ryan and Team Lecky, along with your generosity, helped raise $4.6 million, all to change the lives of kids and adults with disabilities at Allied Services. He inspired us to live a healthier life, made us laugh, sometimes cry. It's time for new adventures and new challenges. It's a 17 year journey we got to be a part of here in Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. To end with one of Ryan's favorite quotes from Dr. Seuss. Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. I wanna thank you for your inspiration. Thank you guys so much for everything. It's been an amazing journey and um, we're gonna miss you so much. Oh my gosh, Fist Ryan. pump, brother. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for everything. <laughs>